Hello everybody, welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Dark Souls. As usual, picking up where we left off at the bonfire in the Undead Parish. Let's take a quick peek over here. So, we have this big menacing gate, uh, which we can't do much at. You know, it's closed off, and uh, this will eventually open, and we'll definitely know when it does. But we do have a uh, funny looking guy right here that we can talk with. Hmm. 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 Oh, oh, forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge. No matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited. So here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> so yeah, just a real patient fellow. Um, he's kind of in a similar boat as us, where we're just, you know, not sure of how to open this gate at the moment. So his approach is to just chill, and eventually it will open, whereas we're going to be a little bit more proactive in our approach. But, you know, by the end of the day, we're going to see uh, which is the smarter philosophy. Still closed. Still closed. Mm. Yeah, uh, you might be waiting there for quite some time, buddy. So, in the meantime, uh, we just wanted to talk to him, say hello. Uh, not much else to do, just remember his face. And uh, we'll definitely be seeing more of him down the road. So, let's uh, return this way. We uh, don't have enough levels to level up yet, but that's no big deal. We're just gonna keep carrying on. And if we go up here... Oh, we came this way before, this is how to get to the church. Um, all the enemies have respawned because, you know, bonfire. But, you know, it's uh, no big deal, just some basic hollows. Just run off, kill this guy first. Get the backstab. Because that guy just watches his friends get steamrolled. Oh, and as you can see, we've been picking up a decent amount of Titanite shards, um, so I usually like to wait until I'm done with this area, see how many shards I picked up, and then actually buy them from Andre. Just a little tip to be economical. So let's uh, work our way up these stairs here. Oh, missed the parry. But no big deal. Okay, so um, up ahead, remember before when I said uh, Ambushes are a thing. Um, well, we're about to get quite the ambush. Uh, watch out for him, because he will shoot things at us as we're trying to do this, but we do... Oh god, okay. So I should have mentioned that what that guy did with his dance was power everybody up, so they're all going to hit a lot harder. Um, ooh, wait. I'm going to get this far back. Normally he's not this aggressive. Normally he's hiding in the back, but deciding to lead the charge today. Okay, we got him. So he is good to kill because he actually doesn't come back when you were set up on fire. There are special enemies, um, and the same goes for that boar that we killed earlier, who when you kill them, they're just like a one-time deal. They're kind of like mini-bosses. But these guys aren't. We're going to have to deal with this every time. So... Let's uh, go ahead and clean things up, and uh, as I'm sure you've noticed many times now that ragdoll physics are pretty hilarious in Dark Souls, the um, the developers did that on purpose, kind of as a joke, but I have always loved it. So if we go this way, um, there's just a simple little item for us to pick up over here, and then if we go this way, down the road here, got another one of these guys. Which maybe I can parry this time. There we go. Oh, but I didn't repost properly, but it really doesn't matter. So let's go over here. And pop out this uh, piece of turkey. J Berkey. Yeah. Turkey bacon turkey. Some joke I was going for. <laughs> but, you know, when you mess up the delivery, jokes are probably better off just 
letting them die. So, over here, um, I always like to go for the kick. Just super satisfying. They're just, bah! Kick the door down. And up here, we're going to put that mystery key to use. Um, but first, let's talk to this guy. Oh, still human, are you? Then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Hmm, so... Someone's in a jail cell. Should we ask ourselves why he might be locked up? Please, I have duties to fulfill. And I will reward you handsomely. Well, I am certain you stand to benefit. Well, he'll make it worth our while, so... Let's see what he's gonna give us. Thank you. Yes, sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. Oh no, did we get duped? Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I've just been freed. Allow me some time. Hmm. Yeah, that, uh... <laughs> We're going to see if we end up getting a reward there, but either way, it's uh, no big deal. I'm sure we'll get something eventually. Um, we actually can get that reward right now, and I think I will do that because I do want to use him in an upcoming thing, uh, which I will explain in a bit, but first we have to go back to Firelink Shrine. So let's uh, take the elevator right here. And on the way down this time, um, we're going to want to drop off early and pick up an item. So, when you're dropping down, um, just be on the lookout, because see this ledge up here? You can actually sort of step off and access the upper levels up here, which we can't get up here until we have the, um, the elevator unlocked. And so now that we do, what we can do is just roll here, and work our way up this way. And all we want to do for now is just come get this item, which is another key. So I will explain when we um, want to use this key. For now, we're going to just uh, keep pressing on. Uh, so there's a safe-ish way to drop down. Um, oh, okay, we survived. <laughs> okay, so that's Petrus. He's still just chilling there. Um, but if we work down here, and I probably should have been efficient and uh, sort of done this in one go in the last episode, but I'm not perfect, guys, so here we are a second time. And here's a Lautrec eyeballing the, uh, our handmaiden over there. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please, accept it. There we got a sunlight medal. I am grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> not enough for you. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> so, yeah, um, he gave us a Sunlight Medal, um, which I'm sure he obtained legitimately. And um, from all that dialogue we just got, he um, surely won't be up to any um, bad deeds. <laughs> You again. What is it? Our futures are murky. Let's not be too friendly now. Yeah, um, if, you're, uh, if your intuition is telling you that he may not be too nice, then all I'm going to say is you're not entirely wrong. But we're going to let him be. What could possibly go wrong, right? Um, and we're actually, there's a reason that I did that. Uh, because we will be able to actually summon him for the next fight. So let's go up here. Take the elevator back up this time. Long way up. Yeah, and you can see the other elevator pass down. It can be a little jarring sometimes. And back in the church. So everything should still be dead, which is cool. We're gonna work our way up, and since we're here, oh okay, I was wrong. Things are still very much alive, which means the rest of the ambush is probably here. Or, yeah. Okay. Ah, they got me. 
Okay, uh, you know what, in this case, I'm actually just gonna... He may as well heal. So yeah, you can use your uh, Homeward Bones tactically like that when you need to make your retreat. Just keep in mind that it takes that little two second animation. You are um, exposed and if you get hit it will cancel it, so it's not a guaranteed escape. So let's uh, spend our souls while we're here. Uh, keep getting our endurance up a little bit. And um, right here, this is, like I said, back in, I think, episode two, the best way to use those um, small souls. Just pop one off. Now I can safely use the rest of my souls. Get some more endurance. Um, oh, no, I'm sure by just a little bit. So I guess, uh, guess I'll have to use another one. But it's no big deal. Get our endurance up a bit. And I want to get that to about 20 for now, so I'm going to put a few more levels in there. But let's um, head back up now and finish up this area. Yeah, it does uh, get a little repetitive sometimes. I was, um,. I was going to say, you know, sometimes take a moment, take things in. I wanted to purposely stay quiet for you guys, but sometimes I just can't quite think of anything useful to say. Alright, um, I guess too, I'll quickly show these guys down here. Um, not that they're anything different, we've fought them before, just not these ones specifically. Although one of them we did, uh, I think it's that middle guy that's still alive. He's the one that saw us and ran out when we passed the front gate earlier. Oh, he actually blocked. Alright, we got him. another shard. Awesome. Okay. So, back up here. We've dealt with this guy before. And yeah, it's hard to get those reposts on the stairs. But, you know, if you can still hit them, usually that's gonna do you good. Um, heal up. Just be safe here. I forget if I mentioned it before, but always make sure you're using a shield during this part if you want to play it safe. And it'll allow you to sort of take this carefully. And uh, stabby pokey weapons like spears are especially good in uh, this part. You can run past them, um, you can pretty much run through any part of the game, but that can get kind of sketchy, so we'll just uh, play it safe. So up this way, we're going to see our first summoning sign, which right over there, we can actually go ahead and summon our friend Latrec, and he's going to help us fight the boss. So while he's summoning, um, he's not the only one that we can summon, uh, we come up this way have another summon sign. And um, this is Solaire. If you remember, he said, look out for my glistening sign. Um, you'll notice, you know, his is a little more golden than Latrex was. So let's summon him. Um, that would be because he's part of a covenant called the uh, Warriors of Sun Sunlight, also known as the Sunlight Bros. And there he goes, praising that sun. Oh yeah. So, um, you guys ready? It's bus time. Alrighty. So here they come. Let's, um, things are awfully quiet. I wonder what the boss will be. Okay, Bell Gargoyle. So this guy's not too bad. 
um, and it's actually going to be pretty easy with both of these guys. So one quick thing before they kill him is that anytime you see a boss with a tail, always go for the tail. Because... Oh, wow, he got him for us. Uh, so yeah, we got a special weapon drop from that. And okay, so over here, um, this is what makes the boss tricky, is uh, that there are going to be another one that we fight. Oh wow, yeah, so <laughs> we're just really making this easier than it probably would have been for your first time. This boss actually gave me a lot of trouble. Um, yeah, so these guys need help. Um, I wasn't able to get my my emojis out, but whatever. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that boss went really quick. Um, I'll just take a moment and talk about it here. Is uh, That boss gave me a lot of trouble. Um, I think this is referred to as uh, one of the first like major um, humps of the game, or walls, whatever you want to say, because personally I didn't even like know summoning was a mechanic <laughs> when I was first playing through, so I was on my own, and it's a lot harder when it's just you versus the two of them, and um, yeah, so we definitely got the easy version by summoning both of our friends there, but um, still we have to do some work. <laughs> we could have accidentally rolled off, wasn't a guaranteed victory. But uh, yeah, if that was too easy, don't worry guys, um, I will eventually be doing all these bosses again in New Game Plus, which basically means that when you beat the game, you can start a new file with the same character, but you play through the game again, and all the enemies get kind of more difficult. And so my overarching plan with this playthrough is to uh, do the first New Game Plus, focus on like the story and equipment, and uh, showcasing all the like little things, like all the summon signs. And then on the second playthrough is when I'm going to sort of take things on by myself. Um, I'll have the equipment that I want by then, and then I can uh, really go for the challenge. So straight ahead of us, if you remember what our quest was, we need to ring some bells. And this is a bell. So let's um, do that and see what happens. Um, yeah, not not much happened, <laughs> but that's because this was the first bell. Um, once we ring the second bell is when things are going to progress. So if we uh, work our way down here and just slide all the way down. Uh, don't get scared by this guy <laughs> and don't attack him. Uh, just go ahead and talk to him. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kerry, the Pop. Thou art a friend. For thee, a warm welcome. Cometh thou to confess? Or to accuse? For indeed, all sin is my domain. Alright, so this is um, a very unique NPC. So he offers a service called Absolution. And what that basically does is if you accidentally smack another NPC and they get angry with you, instead of having to kill them, you can run away, talk to this guy, pay a whole bunch of souls to request absolution, and then the NPC is uh, he's gonna be chill with you again. So <laughs> that's a. I'm glad that they put this mechanic in, but um, it's interesting that it's like such a convoluted thing. Um, you can also abandon your covenants by talking to him, um, and he does sell a few things. Uh, we're gonna pick up one of these purging stones because um, I'm gonna showcase that later down the road. Um, indictments are for if you get trolled and you want to report them. Uh, not that it actually does much. <laughs> And then there's the Book of the Guilty, where you can check a list of everyone indicted. Um, he sells this miracle for a lot, which uh, do some things counter versus. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I've never used it. Um, another talisman and some rings. Uh, here you can actually buy these uh, rings of sacrifice. Uh, these are one-time rings, neither of which we really need or care about. Um, I like to suck up on homeward bones, but I'm not gonna bother this time. Instead, we're gonna learn the gesture. Um, well, what is it? This is easily my favorite gesture, and one I'm probably going to be using a lot. It is only human to commit a sin. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a little creepy, but um, anyway, well, what is it? This is um, easily the best gesture in the game, which I'm going to put it on my default one here. Uh, so, 
this is what you do after you beat someone. You just hit them with the will. What is it? <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Just um, it, it's also like a big meme of uh, Dark Souls. Um, if you ever look up a giant dead, it's a common PvP build that's like just min maxed to be really annoying to fight. And uh, yeah, it's uh, very iconic. And I always can't help but always, always just drop one of these. <laughs> every time I beat a boss or beat an invader, so I do want to still be able to wave. Um, I like shrugging actually, so we'll put wave here and I guess we can put bow down here, wherever it is. Okay, yeah. Make sure your emojis are in order. Um, <laughs> you don't want to not have the one ready when you want it. Um, so yeah, rather than go all the way back, let's just warp back. And um, with the souls that we got from that boss, I like to buy those boxes from Andre, right? Those uh, repair boxes and all that. Well, you need it. So I'll just go purchase the weaponsmith, the armorsmith, and the repair box. And we don't have much money left anymore, but that's fine. So I have four of these. Let's um, let's reinforce the. Um, I mean, I could do the claymore, but like I said, I'm probably just going to use the Black Knight Sword instead. So how about I, uh, we'll do, we'll do the halberd. I'll showcase that for a little bit. So I'll get this guy up to plus three. So I am going to need five more shards, and I have enough to buy two. Awesome. Alright, um... Get killed. Neither of us want to see... Yeah, he's already said that. So let's, um... So it's still a little bit of time for this episode, so let's come down here. Um, before, yeah, I think this will be a good time to use our uh, Black Knight Sword, actually. So we should be able to still roll. Yep. Alright, let's um, fight this thing. So this is a Titanite Demon, and the thing with our Black Knight Swords, and this goes for all Black Knight weapons, is you actually get a bonus when fighting uh, demons. And I'm not entirely sure if this guy counts as a demon proper. But, yeah. Um, he's got some very nasty, big, long-range attacks when he swings that. Um, the best strategy I like to do is just sort of bob and weave your way in and just go for the tail. Um, oh, and actually, <laughs> so this guy's tail doesn't actually cut off, um, so you don't have to try to hit it to try to get something, but this is one of the rare exceptions where that's the case. But once we kill him, we will get some um, special weapon, or a item called Demon Titanite, which is a special form of Titanite that will allow us to upgrade um, certain weapons. Uh, we'll get to them eventually. And um, for our build specifically, I'll, uh, later on in the build, it's going to be very important that we have as much of that as we can get. Well, so let me buy the rest of the Titanite that I need, which I still don't have enough for. So I'm actually just going to quickly... Use one of those soul items, and that should give us what we need. Um, so I think if I use maybe two of these, that'll be enough. Okay, and that should also give us the souls to actually do the upgrade. So I think I just need one more. And then reinforce the halberd. Plus four, and the plus five. Awesome. So, um, it's at plus five. We can eventually get it all the way up to plus 16, but we are going to need some special items to do that. Um, once we do have them, uh, we'll do modify equipment, and it gives us a way. We're going to need special embers for that. So once we get our hands on those, we can um, revisit that. But uh, for now, we have ourselves a cool little halberd, which I will quickly show you how that works. Um, use it the shield. So, just come out here. So this guy, what I was like I was saying before, um, you can raise your shield and just sort of do a little pokey poke with it. Now, halberds are kind of unique. Um, axes do this also, where if you attack and you don't actually hit an enemy, your guy will like sort of lose his balance for a moment. Um, but that's only because I'm just swinging it around in the air here. Uh, if I was using it on some enemies, it would uh, be a little better. But yeah, I think... Um, We'll definitely be using the halberd for a little bit, so I will demonstrate that properly. The next place we want to go to is going to be that way. 
with this uh, demon titanite was guarding. He is a mini boss, so he's not gonna respawn here, so we don't have to worry about him. But in the meantime, guys, that is gonna do it. Let's um, chill with Andre here and call it an episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next part. Where did I put my wave? Right here. Peace.